As members of the Raider Brigade arrived on base, hundreds gathered to welcome them home. For most, no matter which side of the world they've been on, this has been a day they've long been waiting for. The brigade led in by those wounded in action. Applause for all the Raiders. Not a lot of pomp and ceremony, but lots of tears and cheers. With kids holding signs so Pop would see them, there was lots of finger pointing when loved ones were spotted. Then the long-awaited order. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be home. You know, it's been a long time. It's been a long deployment. So. He's one of my buddies too, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think about seeing the kids? I think it's amazing. They've gotten so big, and you know, I just. I just want to go home with him right now. Captain Donnie Chastain has been away about 12 months. While he could talk, wife Allison had trouble staying composed. I can't even talk. It's so good to see him. They love him a lot. How long have you been away? 11 months, sir. And uh, where are you from? Texas. And uh... Connecticut. <laughs> we don't claim Texas. <laughs> I think if they can stabilize the region like we did over there, all over Afghanistan, then we'll be ready to pull out. Once the reunion was over inside, it was time to pick up the gear one last time. For some dads, it didn't take long for them to readjust. From perimeter patrol to stroller patrol. This couple, two cigarettes in already, they just couldn't wait. Well, while the hugs and kisses are over for now, or continuing on into the night, whichever the case may be, uh, they'll redo the reunion again tomorrow morning here on base at 5.30 a.m. as another 250 soldiers make their way home. At Fort Carson, John B., KWGN News.